Hello again. It is Addison and Mary. I'm back with another art lesson. This one is really fun, but it's a little bit messy. So I need you to get your art mat, probably a tablecloth or take it outside. <laughs> okay. So for this lesson, we're going to need a paper plate to hold our acrylic paint. And you can use pink, orange, yellow, purple, or red for this. You need a straw and a plastic fork. And I'll tell you what those are for in a second. Some washable paint or acrylic paint. Some blue food dye. Soap. Some things that you can trace for circles. Something pink or whatever other color of acrylic paint you picked for tentacles. And a flat dish filled with soap and water. Okay. <laughs> we also need tin foil for texture, half a sheet of normal paper, and two sheets of thick white paper. Okay, so first what you're gonna do, I'm telling you it's a little bit messy, is we're gonna fill up our flat dish with water and soap. You're gonna add some of your washable paint and then to get a more um, bright color, I mixed in the food coloring. And then you're gonna go ahead and blow in the bubbles with your straw. Okay. And this one, it looks a little bit dark on camera but it actually comes out pretty light. So I'm gonna dip my first sheet of paper into this one. And you wanna make sure to get that fully covered. Not soaked though, just covered in the bubbles. I might've gotten that one a little too wet. It's okay. And you just wanna dip it into the bubbles. Oh goodness, I am not having a good time with this. It's okay, this one is a learning process one. There we go, there's some bubbles. All right, perfect, okay. Ah, there's my straw. <laughs> okay, mixing this up a little more and adding a little more bubbles to my paper, trying not to get it wet, failing a little bit. It's okay, let's splash some bubbles on there. Okay, now we're gonna set this one aside to dry. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a little bit more blue food coloring so I can get a darker blue color. I'm gonna mix that all in with my fork. This one is a little bit more complicated, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You want to use a larger dish for this, but I only had a small one on hand. So if you use a larger one, I promise it'll be a bit easier to lay down carefully. Okay, let's just go ahead and sprinkle some bubbles on there. My smaller test pieces of paper turned out much prettier because the pan was to size. Yikes. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. My small test pieces, which fit in the pan, turned out super pretty. You can see the bubble prints on there, so I suggest using a bigger pan. I made the mistake. Don't be like me. Okay. Yikes, I'm gonna set this to the side. And next we're gonna do our jelly dish. Okay, wow, this is so messy. Please be careful. So you just need a half a sheet of paper and then we're gonna cut out a semicircle in a jellyfish shape. Okay. 
Okay, so I put some little scallops at the bottom for my jellyfish and now we're gonna paint him. So I'm gonna get my red, ah, my red and a little bit of white paint to make a little bit of pink. That's a lot, oh well. And I'm gonna grab my tin foil and we're gonna paint our jellyfish. And you just wanna kinda of smash this tin foil, pretending like it's a paintbrush all over this jellyfish. Okay, now we're gonna set our jellyfish to the side to dry. And really quickly, we're gonna work on his tentacles. So I'm gonna set all of my messy stuff to the side, including my mat, because we don't need him for a little bit. And we're going to get out our tentacle materials. So you can use ribbon, you can use pom-poms, you can use sequins, but I'm just gonna use this easy curling string. So I'm just gonna cut some up. And then I'm gonna curl it. Don't do this without your parents' permission. I am not condoning children to do this. Let's see, I can't remember how to do this. Oh, there it is, I got it, I got it. Yikes, I cut it, see? You can't do that because you cut your fingers off. We like to keep our fingers. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut up a bunch of tentacles. And I'm gonna leave some with that big curl and some with that tight curl so that you can get a nice little arrangement of tentacles for your jellyfish. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up my tentacles and then I'll come back to you when all of our papers are dry. Okay, so our papers with the bubbles are finally dry. They're so messy. I am a little disappointed how it turned out, but it's okay because art is a chance for learning. Okay, so I'm gonna grab both of our papers. The little jellyfish. I'm gonna set aside the jellyfish and the tentacles. I'm gonna grab out my glue, the scissors, and our circles to trace. Okay, so we're gonna need a pencil. Let's do, perfect. Okay, I think I'm gonna do big circles on this one and little circles on this one. So I'm just gonna set it down and let, uh, I'm gonna flip it over so I don't get any pencil on the blue bubbles. Okay, it looks like I can only fit two of those, so I'm gonna fit another one of these in there. And two small circles. Okay, I'm gonna do one big circle on this one, and then do the rest with the small circles. Okay, and now that we have them traced, we're gonna cut them out. Okay, so now that we've got all of our circles cut out, we're going to make our collage. So I'm gonna start by putting down my big circles where I want them, and then go ahead and fill that in with my littler circles. So I think I have it how I want it. I'll kind of show you what it looks like a little bit because I can't lift it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that all together. Okay, so now that your bubbles are glued together, it should look a little something like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue our jellyfish onto it. Gluing on your jellyfish, you only wanna do the top half because we're gonna lift up the bottom flap to put in all of our tentacles.
Okay, and then as a finishing touch, I'm gonna add some eyes onto my jellyfish. And you know what? I think I'm gonna add just a little smile too. Okay, so when you're done, it should look a little something like this. And if you wanna add stability, you can cut out a misshapen piece of a cereal box or a cardboard box or something and paste that onto the back. But this is our little bubble portrait and I hope you guys had so much fun. Please clean up your messes so you don't drive your moms and dads crazy. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did making this. It just turned out so cute and I'm so happy I could finally do this lesson. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Um, I hope you guys are having so much fun in quarantine. If you have any suggestions for lessons, if you have comments about this lesson, any other lessons, or material substitutions, anything, please, please, please ask me. And I hope you guys have such a good day and I will see you later.